flash drives, but isn't this just like the 2015 version of yeah. Venus? And you know, if we yeah. assume that we're, we're then using humans to bring the hardware forward, then we're assuming continuity. We're assuming continuity in the books were too. Yeah, I, I think I think uh, he's asking about flash drives. You know, is that going to be a proprietary format or not? I think what we're storing it on will change over time. We're going to update it as we go. Um, the day that we have the apocalypse, then whatever's left, um, by the time they can figure out how to interface it, this is going back to the by the time we need all knowledge, we'll have much knowledge. Uh, they're going to be more advanced than us, or as advanced as we are before they need it. And we're pretty clever at getting stuff out. Like. I know this is a paper example, but this is how clever we are, the, the getting the erased manuscript off of a piece of parchment. Um, we're going to have that same ingenuity when we're trying to recover uh, digital. And so I, I don't worry about that. Someone can build a machine. Well, if we can build um, a, a thing that will half draw a, hawk, a chalk uh, <laughs> diagram, you know, we'll be able to interface with the flash drive. What's well, on I, this? I mean, my understanding is flash drives, they basically, they lose about half their data just by entropy by f per 10 years. There are some, you know, some of the new, uh, some of the technologies that would become More our robust. next fa flash drives kind of accidentally um, their, their technology is writing kind of holographically the way stone does inside its crystal structure and could accidentally last for millions of years, but it's only, it's, it's a market force that's driving that. So that one may but do we, a lot but better. But we don't really know what's, what's possible. We know that right now it erases to the point that we can't read it. But this gets back to the crystallography with the old manuscript. There might be a trace there on a, you know, on a quantum level that we're not even aware of yet. And right. So I, yeah. And the, I, then the question is, is uh, do we know to read it? And, you know, the, the, you know, the Rosetta Stone was found by one of Napoleon's soldiers and actually knew that it was important because yeah. they could see it. But, you know, if you found a broken piece of a DVD, uh, you know, it might be shiny, but would you know there's data on it is an interesting Well, what's your question. rejoinder to the language issue? Because we'll, we'll know to read these in 10,000 years and we won't be able to because he's not going to be here. Right. Well, so, um, yeah, I mean, the language issue is the reason we, the very first long-term storage thing we did was a language key. Right, but we don't um, and, know. I mean, you got to know. And it, it, no, it includes versions of English as well. From and ten thousand years from now. Well, not yet. No, That's impressive. We, we we still have to. We still have. You know, there's the emoji version comes next. Um, <laughs> that we're the writing that speak one and the now. Uh, Ryan, you had a question. Yeah, I'm just surprised that um, we're, we're talking about drives, as digital storage gaming devices. I'm wondering what the future is going to be like. I'm, I'm hoping it's. Protein, or and I'm sure you've looked at DNA storage. I know yeah. long now look at DNA storage. What's beyond DNA storage, and why did you rule it out? I haven't ruled it. I think that's that'll be the answer. Like right now, digital is the best thing we have, and in the future, there'll be something better. I love DNA storage and the idea that we could have a library that is growing and renewing itself and multiplying. Uh, but I uh, no, I I think a thousand years from now, this is all going to be seem moot. Like, of course, this is how we do it. It's not going to be paper, though. It's going to be whatever comes next. Right. I think this, and is George, like, George this is like George a vinyl put collection. his entire book into the junk DNA, right? Um, and actually, Jaron Lanier, another idea that Jaron Lanier had that he submitted to the, uh, the Save 100 Years of the uh, New York Times project was to put that into the junk DNA of cockroaches and breed them endemically into yeah, the New York population of cockroaches. Uh, which so I you're asking me why great. would someone think to look into a flash drive, but someone's going to think to look in the cockroach DNA? For well, we spend an awful lot of time looking at cockroach DNA.